Alright, yeah, this is an old place. Um, originally I called it the hole. Uh, I think I wrote it back in the 90s, or maybe early 2000s. Uh, anyway, I've re retitled it, it's called The Hole Fiasco. So, yeah, it's a poem. See how it goes. I was watering empty holes, not for pleasure, just for work. Wind back the clock to half past eight. The boss pronounced, water those holes, no matter what. And I just nodded, held back my tongue. Yeah. All on. Right. Those holes weren't always vacant. Once upon a time, three weeks behind, my workmates and I, but not my boss, planted. Yes, planted. Shrubs, bushes, trees that grew into empty, vacant holes. These classic holes, once filled with roots, now spaces filled with emptiness. But where, oh where, did those shrubs, bushes and trees go? Through Elsa's looking glass? No. They went over the fence, into backyards, bordering the park, where empty holes now reside, but this is all an aside. The watering of holes, that became the focus of my soul. This was the central point for this little tale, so back to the holes we must all now go. The holes were soon to hold fluid. I walked slowly out of the workshed, shed over to the ute, backed it up to the furphy, hooked it up to the, that ute, jumped in, radio on, triple R, outpoured the dead Kennedys, holiday in Cambodia, I rocked and jumped, my workmates looked on, shook their heads, and off I went, crunching gears, thinking to myself, in that time and space, is a hole still a hole when no one's there at all? Then banks, thinking banks, skull encrusted banks, making hollow my dilemma with holes. I drove singing gaily out of tune to a fire hydrant to fill my load, good, better, best. Hooked the hose up. Turned on the valve. Never you digress. Lighted up a cigarette. Turned up the right air. To your good is better. And your better is best. Water flowed out. Down into the tank. And then it flowed over. Across the track. Finally I looked up. With a, ah, uh, fuck. Tiptoed through the water flow, up to the hydrant, closed it shut, hose off, packed away, I drove off to my date. So there I was, in parkland, with a creek, with a well-used well bridge on my left, with cars crossing every four or five six. And I was watering a hole when a couple of mates in a four-wheel tank saw me from the bridge, drove down to the park's edge, jumped out and laughed as they marched towards me and the holes. Hey, gee, hey, gee, hey, gee. The laughing chant went up. What a bludger, cancel friggin' worker. Marky giggled into laughter. Look, boys, he's watering holes. And all I wanted to do was crawl into a hole. Not the ones we've filled with water. So self-effacing became my faded state. Well, inside hate took on a face. The face of my boss. And so I stopped watering. I turned off the hose. Lighted a smoke. And stupidly attempted to justify 
my work practices, which were answered with cigarette smoke and choking laughter, and eventually they departed, and I returned to watering holes. Watering holes. There you go. It's a true story. 